Well, one thing about Louisiana, a lot of the environments that they have for fishing are vast. I mean, you have a lot of cypress trees or you have a lot of aquatic vegetation. And I generally, eyes and anger when I start my day or when I start my week in competition and here in Major League Fishing, you know, I have no idea where I'm going, so I'm gonna have to do this rather quickly. Is I'm the type of angler, I don't like to see everything. What I simply mean by that is when I see something, I wanna know where the fish are relating to that. So it's more like a pattern within a pattern. So when I first start fishing, I see the whole grass bed. But as I fish through that grass bed and start figuring out are they in the back side, are they in it or in the outer, the, or, are they on the outer edge? How are these bass relating? And then once I start getting some bites, then I can kind of pick it apart and I feel like I'm more efficient at making the right cast and focusing all my energy in the areas of that aquatic vegetation that the fish are using. Same thing with cypress trees. If I happen to go to an environment that's full of cypress trees, I mean, a lot of these cypress trees all look the same, but they're not. I mean, you have cypress trees that might be sitting on a ditch. You have cypress trees that are clustered. You have some cypress trees that have knees that come way out from the base of the tree. So there's a lot that goes on, but to the viewer, it looks like, oh, we're just chunking and winding and we're just moving the boats around. We're really not. We're focused on our depth finders, looking for depth. And we're trying to pick apart the cover, trying to get a bite. And once we get a bite, then it'll start leading us to the next bite, then to the next bite. And that's how we develop what we call a pattern. And the more we can refine that pattern or develop more what I call a pattern within a pattern, the more efficient we become and the better we're gonna be at using our time on the clock.